Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 13th series of uh, Clinical Research and Pharmacovigilance. In this video, we will be seeing the WHO Drug Monitoring Program and Pharmacovigilance Program of India, that is PVPI. The WHO Drug Monitoring Program, uh, the WHO International Drug Monitoring Program, also known as uh, WHO Global Individual Case Safety Reports Program, is an essential initiative focused on collecting, analyzing, and disseminating the information about the adverse drug reactions and other safety related issues associated with the pharmaceutical products. The program plays a critical role in ensuring the safety of medications which are used globally. First is establishment and its purpose. The program was established in 1968. Uh, with the goal uh, of the monitoring the safety of pharmaceutical products after they have been approved and are on the market. The primary objective is to detect and assess adverse effects and other safety concerns related to the medications and to promote uh, the appropriate use of drugs. Collaboration and Network This program operates uh, through uh, a global network of uh, national pharmacovigilance centers and collaborating institutions in various countries. These centers receive and process the reports of adverse reactions submitted by the healthcare professionals, patients and regulatory authorities. Individual case safety reports that is ICSRs. The core of the program involves the collection and analysis of the individual case safety reports which contain information about specific adverse events experienced by patients after taking a particular medication. These reports include uh, details about the patient, the drug, the adverse event and any relevant medical history. Vigibase Database The WHO maintains a centralized database called Vigibase which houses a vast collection of uh, individual case safety reports. Vigibase serves as a global repository of pharmacovigilance data and provides a valuable resource for signal detection, data analysis and trend monitoring. Signal detection and assessment. The program's data analysis process involves identifying patterns and trends in the adverse event reports to detect potential safety signals. These signals prompt further investigation and evaluation to determine whether the regulatory actions or safety advisories are needed. Risk communication <coughs> and information dissemination. The program facilitates the dissemination of safety information and alerts about emerging safety concerns to the healthcare professionals, regulatory agencies and the public. This helps to ensure uh, that the relevant stakeholders are aware of the potential risks associated with the specific medications. Support for pharmacovigilance capacity building. The program also provides a technical assistance and training to national pharmacovigilance centers in low and middle income countries, helping them establish and strengthen their pharmacovigilance systems. Collaboration with the regulatory agencies. The WHO program uh, collaborates closely with the national regulatory authorities such as USFDA and the European Medical Agency to enhance global pharmacovigilance efforts and share the safety data. The WHO International Drug Monitoring Program has significantly contributed to the advancement of pharmacovigilance practices worldwide. It has played a pivotal role in identifying the safety concerns associated with the medications leading to regulatory actions, label updates and changes in the prescribing practices. By fostering collaboration and information sharing among the countries, the WHO International Drug Monitoring Program contributes to the broader goal of uh, ensuring the safety of pharmaceutical products on a global scale. Let us see the pharmacovigilance uh, program of India. It is called PVPI. India has its own pharmacovigilance program aimed at monitoring the safety of pharmaceutical products used within the country. 
the program operates under the aegis of uh, central drug standard control organization that is cdscbo which is the regulatory authority for drugs and medical devices in india the pharmacovigilance program in india is known as in, uh, the indian pharmacovia commission pharmacovigilance program of india that is pvpi establishment and the purpose the ipc pharmacovigilance program of uh, india was established in 2010 to monitor the safety of medicines in india and ensure the timely detection and reporting of adverse drug reactions that is the adrs this program aims to enhance patient safety by collecting and analyzing information about the safety profile of the medications national coordination center the national coordination center for pvpi serves as the central hub for receiving processing and analyzing the adverse event reports from various sources including the healthcare professionals patients and the pharmaceutical companies regional and peripheral centers this program is supported by a network of regional pharmacovigilance centers and pharmacovigilance centers which, which are placed peripherally also called as peripheral pharmacovigilance centers located across the different regions of india these centers are responsible for collecting and uh, transmitting the adr reports to the national coordination center adverse event reporting healthcare professionals including doctors nurses pharmacists and dentists are encouraged to report the suspected adverse reactions to the medications to the pvpi patients and consumers can also report adverse events directly to the program data collection and analysis the program collects individual case safety reports icsrs that contain details about the patient the medication the adverse event and other relevant information these reports are analyzed to identify the patterns and trends that may indicate potential safety concerns signal detection and communication the pvpi uses uh, the data analysis techniques to detect the potential safety signals if a signal is identified the program communicates uh, these findings to the healthcare professionals regulatory authorities and the public as appropriate collaboration and partnerships the program collaborates with the various stakeholders including the regulatory agencies pharmaceutical companies healthcare institutions and healthcare professionals to promote and report the adrs and enhance pharmacovigilance practices capacity building and training the pvpi conducts training and capacity building initiatives initiatives to raise the awareness about the pharmacovigilance among the healthcare professionals and to improve the reporting practices regular updates the program periodically publishes newsletters and safety alerts to keep the healthcare professionals and the public informed about the latest safety information and regulatory actions related to the specific medications the ipc pharmacovigilance program of india plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety of medications used in india by systematically collecting and analyzing the safety data the program helps identify potential risks associated with the drugs and contributes to informed decision making by healthcare professionals and regulatory authorities so it's a very short information of the who international drug monitoring program and the pharmacovigilance program of india run by ipc i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends uh, kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos which is available in the playlist uh, clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharma topics channel thank you